Introducing Baijus classes. From super expensive marketing strategies to unethical practices, here are three mistakes that led Baijus to failure. Today we have an intriguing story to share: the rise and fall of a prominent e-tech company Baijus. Once considered an Indian unicorn, how did it all go wrong? Let's find out. What does a unicorn in India mean? Unicorn is a term used in the venture capital industry to describe a privately held startup company with a value of over 1 billion dollar. Baijus is an Indian multinational educational technology company headquartered in Bangalore. It was founded in 2011 by Baiju Ravindran and his wife Divya Gokulnath. It was back in 2018 when Baijus turned into a unicorn, becoming the first Indian e-tech company to join the prestigious Unicorn Club of Indian startups. Baijus quickly emerged as a game changer in the e-tech industry because of its innovative approach to learning, interactive content and personalized teaching methods. But on their balance sheet, it remained a loss-making company. But that's nothing new. Most of the unicorns are loss making. Investors value them based on future profitability and returns. What went wrong with Baijus is that the majority of its investors and board members think that the company is not in good hands. They are not satisfied with how Baijus is running its business. As a result, Baijus is confronting the crisis of its lifetime with auditor Deloitte and several board members resigning and funding drying up. An investment firm BlackRock cut Baijus valuation to 8.4 billion from its previous 22 billion dollars. From super expensive marketing strategies to unethical practices, here are three mistakes that led Baijus to failure. Mistake number 1, uncontrolled burning rate and super expensive marketing. Baijus had some of the biggest names in sports and entertainment to promote their brand. Superstar Shah Rukh Khan, cricketer Virat Kohli, badminton player PV Sindhu, and Olympic gold medalist Neeraj Chopra all became ambassadors of Baijus, catapulting the company to new heights. I wonder why you need Bollywood star Shah Rukh Khan to promote an e-tech company or any other sports person for that matter. They even signed up the global football star Lionel Messi as their global ambassador. In 2021 alone, Baijus spent nearly 2500 crores on marketing. While Baijus revenue remained steady, its losses surged from 262 crores to a staggering 4500 crore rupees in just one year. Mistake number 2, acquisitions. Or you can call it a shopping spree. In a bid to expand faster, Baijus spent more than 3 billion dollar on acquiring more than 13 companies from the e-tech space like Great Learning, White Hat Junior, or Akash etc. For instance, one startup acquired by Baijus called Great Learning provides higher learning degrees, diplomas and certificate courses across domains such as data science, digital marketing, artificial intelligence and machine learning. It has a presence in about 160 countries. Baijus co-founder and CEO Baiju Ravindran once told in an interview that the company has cash of 1 billion dollars after financing these acquisitions. The capital will be used as an investment to scale these new platforms. He said with these acquisitions, Baijus now have a big presence in three verticals: schools, test preparation, higher education, and upskilling segment. But will these acquired companies help Baijus in generating profit? That remains to be seen. Mistake number 3: Unethical practices. The Employee Provident Fund data revealed that Baijus parent company Think and Learn Private Limited had not paid the PF money to most of its employees. Rumors circulated that the company had deducted taxes from its employees but failed to deposit them with the government and used that money for other purposes. The more severe backlash came from customers themselves when customers who bought courses on EMI requested cancellations and refunds instead of respecting their choice. Baijus did not immediately cancel their subscription and customers had to continue paying EMI long after requesting cancellation. So what are the lessons here? Number 1, never forget that the customer is your king. As a founder, the game is between you and the customer alone. So keeping your customers happy has to be your number 1 priority. Lesson number 2, while marketing is essential, there is a fine line between effective salesmanship, spending outrageous amounts of money, and pressurizing potential customers into buying your products. Because Baijus is also accused of selling courses by instilling fear in parents about their children's future. Baijus subsidiary White Hat Junior employed a controversial marketing strategy centered around a child prodigy named Wolf Gupta. They claimed he had secured a job at Google for staggering sum of 1.2 crores 
insisting that the children who did not enroll in their courses were wasting their lives. Right now, Baiju's subsidiary Akash is set to launch an IPO in mid-2024. Baiju thinks the IPO will significantly improve its financial situation, but it seriously needs to rethink its marketing strategy and should value its customers rather than exploit them. They should also focus on profitability rather than expansion because they are planning to launch an IPO but don't have any significant positive things to attract retail investors. On this podcast, intellectuals and people who are on the journey to become successful come to listen to the wise insights from the world's most influential books on personal growth, finance and business.